Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wine with Jimmy channel. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith. Delighted that you have stopped by. This is a video very much useful for those of you studying your WSET, that's the Wine and Spirit Education Trust, level three. So this is actually a video which is mightily, mightily useful for you because it is a video which goes through six wines in total. And these wines are available as a tasting case that you can purchase through one of my businesses. That's called Streatham Wine House, which is a wine shop and bar in London. So you can get in the UK only this tasting case sent to you. And of course, you can follow on at home and practice with the systematic approach to tasting. So in this video, in this free format, I will go through the first wine only. Uh, if you want access to all the wines, of course, you'll need to go and purchase the tasting case and the whole video series will be available to you. If you have subscribed to my e-learning portal, the whole video will also be there available for all subscribers over at winewithjimmy.com. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, if you want to know further information, please do get in touch. You can comment on this video below. Make sure you click like and subscribe as well whilst you're down there. OK, so the tasting component of your level three course is intimidating. It's quite challenging, but if you follow the process, you will be successful. So I'm going to go through the basic process here on one wine and of course, there are six wines in total if you do purchase what's called the December 2022 edition tasting case with my full notes. So let's have a little sneak peek at the full notes available. First of all, the first wine is this wine, which is the Chateau de la Mirante, Picpou du Pinay, and it's made from Picpou Blanc, which is a great, which is mentioned in your text for the syllabus of level three from the AOC of the same name of Picpoul de Pinay. It's a 2021 coming in at 13.5% alcohol and available at about 12 pounds. All these wines on this uh, tasting case were dis uh, tasted in December, 2022. So they are very, very relevant. Okay, so what I do in this tasting case is that you get the hard copies of these tasting notes, plus this video. So you can go through it at home, of course. So first of all, in your tasting, there are two marks available for the appearance. A, a very large percentage of white wines will fall under the category that you see here of being pale and lemon. It's one of the most common of the combinations here. So just two marks. You may see that I've actually crossed out clarity and other observations. The examiners, which is the examiner at your APP, typically your tutor, your educator is the one who's going to mark the paper and they do not allocate marks to the clarity or other observations so uh, you can utilize them if you wish but of course they're not needed so pale and lemon so this will get you the marks remembering in your exam that you actually are given a box that looks a little bit like this i'll show you on here here we go uh, and i'm just going to block out this bit here in fact, sorry, I'm going to block out all of this. There you go. That's what you get in your exam. It says appearance. It says maximum two marks available and you have to populate this. So it's completely blank. You will put down intensity, which is pale, color, which is lemon. So let me just reiterate that here. So pale and lemon for two marks on the nose. So the first thing we express is the intensity here. This wine is not huge, but it has some good aromatic. Typically, white wines can be anything on that range, whereas red wines tend to be more medium to pronounced. So this is medium intensity. It's very young. And I'll go through why that is very, uh, very shortly. So medium intensity, youthful development. And that is one of the most forgotten parts of a tasting note. And simple. Why simple? Well, let's have a look at the actual aromas that one is finding in this wine. Here is the three areas, primary on the left of the screen, secondary top right and tertiary in the bottom right. You'll see that nothing has been identified in secondary and tertiary. This wine purely is in primary, hence why it is a youthful wine. Now, as an assessor, I have listed these things as um, 
a student, you will be looking to write down here a minimum of five. And on this one, I think you would actually struggle to get uh, any more than, say, sort of five or six. Uh, but try your best, of course, because there is no negative marking for the aromas. Anything like elderflower, blossom, apple, pear, lemon, melon. So it's mainly citric and quite fresh. A little bit of grassy fennel character and then anything to do with wet stones, salty or brine, I have included there as well. Uh, so you need to get five of those to get the five marks for aromas. So just going back here to the nose, uh, you'll see that that's the nose intensity saying two marks available. Five marks available here, but just one little caveat, the simple character that I put down on the last slide actually is taken from these five marks. So this becomes four marks available as one was allocated to simple. A simple wine is one that really only has a very small amount of aroma compounds, typically somewhere between five and eight, depending on the wine style. So on this wine, you probably put down five or six and it's relatively simple in its approach. So you need to put down the word simple. Once again, any questions about the likes of simplicity, simplicity please do get in touch. Then we come to the palette uh, where we are needing to assess six things. You notice here that there in fact are seven uh, on here and that's because of the simple thing again. I'll come to that in a second, but let's go through the six here on the left hand side. First of all, the sweetness level of this wine is dry. Typically, sweet wines, not always, but typically have a slightly more darker colour. They're more golden, if not amber. Uh, so that might be a giveaway. But this one is a typical pale lemon dry wine with high acidity and medium alcohol. Now, these three things in combination are a very typical, what I call the holy trinity of the start of the tasting um, palette. Dry, high, medium, very common for a lot of white wines today, in today's uh, day and age. Uh, so high in acidity, medium. So you must be getting these to get the marks. Light in body, you must hit that as well. I have put down a range here for the flavor intensity, medium, minus or medium. Uh, so you need to be in that. You can't put a range, you can only put down one thing, but as long as you're in that area. And a medium minus finish, not too long, probably about 10 seconds maximum in terms of how long it stays with you. It is simple again, once again, because our flavours, so you'll see now it says three marks available, it was five aromas on the nose, it's three here on the palate, and we have the likes of everything exactly the same as the nose. So now you will likely, the, the best um, approach to doing the palette, uh, palette flavours is to basically copy and paste from your nose and amend where necessarily. Add something, take something away if you don't think it's there, if you think it's there. So on this wine, just copy, paste, and it will be your same characters. I know that maybe you put six things down on the nose, put six things down again on the palette, absolutely fine. Uh, and the three marks are here. It's actually only two on this wine because we gave one to the simple word because it is a simple wine on the palette as well. Okay, um, and then finally, your last two marks, that's mark 19 and mark 20, uh, are for the conclusions. I've put the Blick process up here. This wine has balance. I actually think for the wine it is, which is quite a simple wine, it has decent intensity. Uh, so it, this means that simple wines are not always just acceptable. There are some good simple wines out there. And that's why I've put down yes here. So this is a good wine. Drink now, but not suitable for further aging for the pure reason that the wine doesn't have much density. It's not very rich. There's no secondary character and the fruit's not really rich. Uh, this is a wine which is possibly better when it is much younger. So drink now, not suitable for further aging. The total mark for that wine the white wine is always out of 20 for the WSET level three. If you scored 11 plus, that's a pass. 13 plus is a merit and 17 plus is a distinction. Uh, so if you haven't done this already, it's always a good idea to taste the wine, put down your tasting note, then go through it with me as I talk you through, uh, through the wine. Okay, so for those of you that uh, are wishing now to enjoy this process more and get more practice, please do go and purchase the tasting case. The tasting case is available at Streatham Winehouse, the, uh, the 
from the email addresses there or the HTTP addresses up there on the screen, but you'll also find the link in the description below. The tasting case will be £135 plus delivery wherever you, you may be. It's UK only. I'm, unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. So the UK only for that. And you'll get this full video for tasting notes plus the written ones as well. Very, very useful.